In this video I will teach you how to use AI service for real-time in-game translation using any emulator on your retro arch. Assuming that we're already done loading our cores, tap the cog icon and look for accessibility. Inside accessibility, tap AI service. Under AI service, turn on AI service enabled toggle, and additional settings will show. Tap AI service output. In this tutorial I'm going to use image mode. Image mode basically shows translation as a text overlay, like what I showed you earlier. And now tap AI service URL. And type this, you may pause the video. Be sure that you enter the correct URL or else this will not work. Once you're done, hit enter. Next, tap source language, here you must set the original language of the game that you want to translate. Tap target language, this is where you set your desired output language. After that let's go back to the settings menu again by tapping the cog icon. Under the settings menu, tap input and then tap hotkeys, scroll down and look for AI service. Tap AI service, assign a button to call the AI service, in this video I'm going to assign my R2 button to trigger AI service. Now let's run a Japanese game and try the AI service. To translate the text during gameplay, just press the hotkey button that we assigned earlier to trigger the AI service. You may experience slight game freezes during translation, depending on your internet speed and the length of the text to be translated. Hit the hotkey button for AI service once again to hide translated text overlay. It works. The translation isn't always accurate, at least it can give you an idea while you're playing games in foreign languages like Japanese. For moving text like this, just open the RetroArch menu. Tap the cog icon, scroll down and look for accessibility. Once you're inside accessibility, tap AI service. Scroll down and look for pause during translation toggle and turn it on. Now let's try to hit the AI service hotkey. With pause during translation option, it will pause the whole emulation and translate all the text on your screen like this. You can resume the emulation by hitting the hotkey once again. Alright daddies, that wraps up this tutorial. I hope this guide helped you out, and if it did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content.
inspire me to make more videos like this by subscribing to the channel.